Diane at Minerva. I hope you're all having a super week. And today I'd like to share with you a sew along for this fabulous Vogue dress. Now, it has some wonderful details with the collar, crossover front, cuffs on the short sleeves, pleats front and back and pocket details. So there's lots going on there. And we're going to be using this fabulous core range cotton chambray. It's 100% cotton and this shade is navy. Now it is available in four colours should you wish to choose something different. Now if you'd like to sew along with me today, here's what you'll need to make this garment. The Vogue pattern, the cotton chambray and a matching thread. I will also tag below some interfacing and lining. Now before we begin, Always remember to wash and prepare your fabric before you start. This ensures any shrinkage occurs now and not later on when you've finished. And also take a tape measure and locate your sizing on the back to ensure a perfect fit. When you've done this, we're ready to go and cut our pattern pieces. Let's go and do that together now. So here we have our pattern pieces and here is your skirt back. So this one you're going to cut one on the fold and your fold is here. We have pleat markings here at the top. So mark these on along with the direction of the arrow. And you can lengthen or shorten. Now I've chosen to fold mine up at this point here because it's too long for me. I'm only five foot four. And then we're going to have a 3.8 centimetre hem at the bottom. Here we have your skirt front. This time you're going to cut two pieces. This is your straight grain going this way. Again, mark the pleats and the direction of the arrows and also this pocket placement here. So mark these lines on at this point and also your notches. Here we have your bodice back. This is the centre back and this is the straight grain. You're going to cut two in fabric and two in lining. Make a note of your notches. Here we have your bodice front and this time this is the straight grain this way. You have a fold line here for this facing piece. You're going to cut two pieces, mark the darts here and the circles and the notches. Then here we have the bodice front lining. So this is a separate piece for the lining for the bodice front and we're going to cut two in lining of this one. Again, mark the darts and the notches. Here we have your sleeve band. This is a straight grain. Cut two pieces. Mark the fold line and the notches. The collar, you're going to cut two on the fold. Here is the fold. Two in the fold of fabric and one on the fold of interfacing. Make a note of your markings. Here we have the welt piece. Again, you're going to cut two pieces and also two pieces in interfacing. Make a note of these markings. This is the sleeve front. You're going to cut two of fabric and two of lining. This is the grain line. Mark this notch here. Here we have the front facing piece. So this is the grain line and you're going to cut two of interfacing. Here we have the pocket pieces. You're going to cut two in fabric and two in lining and make a note of these markings and also your notches. Now we're ready to begin making our dress. So first of all, you want to wind half of your thread onto your spool and check your machine needle is sharp. I'm using a universal size eight tape needle today, a standard size eight tape. For this fabric, you may wish to try a little piece of scrap fabric before you begin. Then when you've done that, we're going to fuse our interfacing pieces to the front of our top and also to our collar pieces and our welt pieces. Let's do that first of all. Now interfacing in place, we're going to stitch in our darts. So we have our markings here at the side, so I've snipped mine here and here, and then we have the point that we're working to. So pinch it together, right sides together, and we're working from the side here towards this point and we're going to do that we're going to stitch it at a gradual angle a gradual V okay. 
leave some thread you're going to knot your threads and you're going to push it down towards the point of your dart and then you can snip that off repeat on the other side and press it down towards the waistband now with right sides together pin your sleeve front to your bodice like this so we're matching this notch here Move that down a little bit. And then we're going to stitch this in place and it's a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Stitch your centre back seam of your bodice back, matching these notches here. Next you're going to stitch your front to your back at your shoulders and your side seam. So you want to match your notches at your shoulders. Now your shoulder comes forward like this. So don't be alarmed that this is shorter than the back here because this is how it goes. It comes forward like this and this matches up here look. So don't go panicking that you've cut it wrong and this should be down here because it shouldn't, it's supposed to be like that. So pin that in place and stitch in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam. Now the underarm. Fold ends of your sleeve band in half so that these notches here are matching. Then we're going to stitch that seam in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam. When you've done that, we're going to turn it through. Like this. And we're going to baste this raw edge. Now with right sides facing, you're going to pin your band to your armhole and you're going to match your seams. So you've got your seam here and you've also got your notches. Now you're going to stay stitch around your neck edge. At this point stitch your collar pieces together leaving the notched edge open. Start at the circles here, press and baste the raw edge here then you're going to top stitch 6mm from the edge. Pin your collar to your bodice and the interfaced side of your collar should be facing downwards. Match up your notches, match up the centre back with the centre of the collar and you can snip into it where necessary to make it fit. Stitch your darts in your bodice lining pieces then you're going to take your lining sleeve pieces and you're going to pin those to your lining sleeves in the same way that you did your main fabric. Stitch your centre back bodice lining, then we're going to open that up and we're going to stitch our front pieces to it at the side seams. So for now we're just doing the side seams and we're leaving the shoulder open for now. At this point fold your facing back outwards towards itself like this 
and you're going to line up your lining piece with the notches on the facing here and here and with right side facing you're going to pin that in place on both sides so it's best to lay it out flat first of all like this so lay it out flat on a table so that you can see you've got it the right way up that this is your underarm here and this is the underarm of your dress bodice so make sure you have it all the right way up before you start because we've not stitched our shoulder piece yet so that can make it look quite confusing I feel so here we have the sleeve part here is the top and here is the front of your lining and here is the front of your facing when you've pinned both sides we're going to stitch that in position now you can stitch down your shoulder seams of your lining your front and back lining pieces and you're catching in the facing here stitch your lining around your neck of your dress press under one edge of your lining and pin it on the inside of your sleeve band like this with your pins on the outside and to catch in that lining we're going to stitch in the ditch here all the way around now if you have your pins on top like this you can see you can take them out as you go and you don't have to stitch over them if you don't want to and also you can see where you're going Now you're going to lap your right front over your left and you're going to match these centre notches here. When you've done that you're going to baste around the bottom of your dress bodice. Now should you wish you can add a Minerva Maker label at the back of the neck. I'm going to add mine into the side seam. So decide where you would like to put that and I will tag these in with the other products. In your pocket lining to your skirt front match the markings here and baste in position now at this point we're going to make our pocket well so I'm going to show you a way that I think is easier than the way it's shown on the instructions so what we're going to do we're going to do it and we're going to cut into it so here are your markings on your front and here is your faced welt piece so we're going to put this face down now you may want to draw on this so that it matches your markings there make sure that you get it central first of all now if you're doing it this way rather than the pattern instructions I would suggest leaving off your lining pocket for now while you just make this welt section and we're just going to stitch around that all in one movement so we've got our piece right sides facing down on top of our skirt panel you might want to practice this on a little piece of scrap before you begin if you're going to try this <laughs> pivot at the bottom try and keep this good and square when you're doing it as well and when you've done that we're going to cut into it You want a good point each side because we're going to need to hold on to that in a moment so just be careful when you're cutting you can take out your pins now I'm going to push this through to the wrong side like this And you really want to flatten it all out at these corners here make sure it's all flat so put it on the table and press it with your fingers and what we're going to do is we're going to push one side and fold it over to create this flap here 
Now, if you were doing a suit jacket pocket, you would do both sides equal and you would pinch both sides in. But we're just doing one side like this and we want it equal. So this needs to be out of the way. So you can pin that back or hand stitch it. And we just want the one. And what we're going to do then is we're going to stitch on this triangle here that's sticking up. So we hold that in place. You can do it with a few hand stitches or you'll hold it with your fingers or pin it. And we're going to stitch down there and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Make sure it's equal. So we've got that nice flap. And stitch on that triangle behind it. And this will give us that same effect but a lot quicker. And then we're going to stitch our pocket panels to the back of that. So I'll stitch that in place and show you what I mean. So now you have this well, pop your lining piece back on where it should go. And what we can do is we can stitch down here. So in this line of stitching here, we can stitch the lining to it. Then when we've stitched that, we can stitch down the side there. So do this line of stitching first of all. It's just really much quicker to do it this way. Add your remaining pocket piece behind the well on the other side and stitch down this side. Then when you've done that, you can stitch round them both together. You can either overlock or zigzag stitch. If you've used this way of making your pockets, you can turn the edges of your pocket under on the inside to hide the raw edge. So if you've done it this way, you've still got your pocket well, and you just need to check that it's pointing outwards towards the side seam, like this. Uh, if you're unsure about which way the pockets go, you could always do them both in fabric. You don't have to do one in lining and one in fabric. You could do them both in fabric. And this also gives you a more substantial pocket on the inside. But if you want it lighter, you will need to use one of pocket lining. So it still works, but it's much quicker. Okay, so that's just another way to do it. Now we're going to join our two front pieces together before doing our pleats. At this point we're going to bring our pleats together. So we're going in the direction of the arrow, so I've pinned this side, so I'll show you on this side what I mean. So here we have our markings, here and here, and these circles. So we're bringing this one over, like this, to meet this circle and this notch. So I'm going to put a pin in there, ready to base that. Then we've got another one here and here. Bring that one over in the direction of the arrow again. Place a pin there. And then this one goes all the way to the middle. So going from here to here. So we're going to stitch these now. So I'm going to stitch across here at the top of all of them to hold them in place. And then I'm going to do the same on my back pieces. I'm going to create the pleats on my back pieces next. When you've created your pleats, join your skirts panels together at the side seams matching these notches here and catching in your pocket pieces. Now we're pinning our skirt to our bodice. Now what you want to do is make sure that you line up the centre point with your notches in your bodice here. So we have notches showing us the central line and this is your central seam here on the skirt. Line those up first of all also your side seams at either side and also your back centre point. Now what I found is I had to adjust a few of my pleats and make them a little deeper because they didn't quite line up with the width of my body so I'd obviously not done those quite right. So I've had to loosen those off and adjust my pleats on both sides of the front 
and just make them a little bit deeper, you might find that you need to do the same. When you've pinned it all in position, we're going to stitch that on now. Now try on your dress and determine the hem length. I've just taken a little bit more off the bottom of mine because it is very long on me. And I'm now doing a double fold hem. So here is the finished dress. It is a loose fitting dress. That nice shape. I went for the size small with this one. I think I probably could have gone for the extra small. So do bear in mind that it does come out on the loose side, but it, it is a pull on dress. So there's no zip and no fastener, just the crossover front. So it does need to be roomy to just pull on in that way with no fasteners. So if you want to do a tighter fit, go for this size a little smaller. Or alternatively, I suppose you could add a zip, a side zip if you wished, or wear it with a belt if you wanted to keep it. Uh, loose fitting. Well I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. I really enjoyed making this. I think it's a really enjoyable project with all the additional details. Why not try it in a linen or a seersucker for the summer months? Maybe a suiting or wool blend for the winter months. If you've made this pattern before remember to let us know in the comments below along with any uh, photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. And remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. You can also take a look at the Minerva Craft Club to get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. Or create a free account and connect with our wonderful worldwide sewing community. And that's all completely free. I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. And if you like what I'm wearing today, I will link these products in the description below also. This is another Minerva exclusive viscose chalet fabric. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye for now.